हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द कंसेप्ट प्रोपोर्शन इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द टॉपिक प्रोपोर्शन मींस व्हाट इट इज रिलेटेड टू विद द रेशियो व्हेन टू रेशियोज आर इक्वल द फोर क्वांटिटीज कंपोजिंग देम आर सेड टू बी इन प्रोपोर्शन फॉर एग्जांपल इफ ए बाय बी इक्वल टू सी बाय डी देन वी कैन से दैट ए बी सी डी आर इन प्रोपोर्शन दिस इज एक्सप्रेस बाय सेइंग दैट ए इज टू बी एंड सी इज टू डी and the proportion is written as a as to b equal to c as to d there are two types of expressions this one a as to b as c as to d and a as to b equal to c as to d the term a and b are called the extremes while the, the terms a and d are called extremes while the term b and c are called as mean if four quantities are in proportion then the product of the extreme is equal to the product of the means that means if we have two ratios a as to b and c as to d then we can write a into d equal to b into c where ad is nothing but product of extreme and bc is nothing but the product of means if three quantities a b c are in continue proportion then we can write a as to b equal to b as to c that means the product of extremes here a and c are extremes that is ac is equal to the mean that means b into b that is b square where b is called the mean proportional if three quantities are in proportional then the first is to be the third is the duplicate ratio of the first is to be the second that means if a has to be is equal to b has to c then we can write a has to c is equal to duplicate that means a square has to b square now we solve one example find the mean proportional between 3 and 75 that means we have to find x such that 3 has to x is equal to x has to 75 but we know that the product of extremes is equal to the product of means here 3 and 75 are the extremes so we can write down here 3 into 75 is equal to the product of means that means x square so simply we can write here x square equal to 3 into 75 which is nothing but 225 that means the value of x is equal to square root of 225 that is equal to 15 so 15 is the mean proportional between 3 and 75 it is nothing but finding the geometric mean of 3 and 75 call one more example what must be added to each of the four numbers 10 18 22 38 so that they become in proportion that means we have to find out x such that 10 plus x is proportion with 18 plus x is proportion with 22 plus x which is proportion with 38 plus x but we know that here this is extreme point 10 plus x and 38 plus x these are the extreme points and 18 plus x and 22 plus x these are the mean point so we can write down here 10 plus x into 38 plus x that means product of extremes is equal to the product of means that is 18 plus x into 22 plus x if we simplify this we we get here 380 plus 10x plus 38x plus x square is equal to 18 into 22 plus 18x plus 22x plus x square now we can cancel x square from both sides x square and x square get cancel so what is remaining 380 plus 48x is equal to 18 into 22 plus 40x if we shift this term 48x minus 40x is equal to 18 into 22 minus 380 so we get here 8 into x is equal to 18 into 22 we can write down here the product 396 minus 380 that is x equal to 396 minus 80 380 is equal to 16 divided by 8 so the answer is 
so the value of x is 2 so we can write down here 10 plus 2 as to 18 plus 2 and third number 22 plus 2 as to 38 plus 2 so we can simply write down here 12 as to 20 and 24 as to 40 if we see the difference here it is multiple of 12 that is 12 into 2 is equal to 24 and 2 into 20 is equal to 40 so all becomes in proportion now we solve one more example if a divided b plus c is equal to b divided c plus a is equal to c divides a plus b then we can prove that each ratio is equal to either 1 by 2 or minus 1 let us consider two cases suppose a plus b plus c is not equal to 0 and we will solve for if a plus b plus c is equal to 0 so there are mainly two cases so let us solve one case first case if a plus b plus c is not equal to 0 then we can add this ratio a plus b plus c divides b plus c plus c plus a plus a plus b so it will become a plus b plus c divided by 2 into a plus 2 into b plus 2 into c if we write down these a plus b plus c divides 2 into a plus b plus c so it will become a plus b plus c get cancelled because they are non-zero so that is equal to 1 by 2 so our half part is done that means if a plus b plus c not equal to 0 then we can show that each ratio is equal to 1 by 2 now what happen if a plus b plus c equal to 0 then we can write down here c equal to minus a minus b this is the value of c now we can add these two ratios first and second ratio a plus b divided by b plus c plus c plus a so it will become a plus b divided by twice c plus a plus b so which will becomes a plus b divided by now we put the value of c that is equal to minus a minus b so we can write down here minus 2a minus 2b plus a plus b that is equal to a plus b divided by minus a minus b which will become a plus b divided by minus into a plus b that is equal to minus 1.